Hello, good afternoon. I'm back again. Pastor Donald coming to you, uh, Senior Pastor of Fresh Manor Christian Center. And I wanted to say thank you to all that are going to view the show and from whatever website you're watching us from. Thank you. And advance, in advance, ask you to please send us an email or leave a comment and maybe even a suggestion of something you'd like us to discuss here on the show. Well, today's Fresh Man of Golden Nugget is going to be living a Christian life. What does that really mean, to live a Christian life? A lot of people, when they think of that, they think that you have a humdrum life, a boring life, that you can't do a lot of things, and that you just become, you know, your life just becomes very boring. And living a Christian life is quite the contrary to that. It's quite the opposite. It doesn't mean when you become a Christian that, you know, you can no longer do fun things or you can no longer uh, enjoy sporting events or you can no longer watch TV or any of those kind of things. Those are all bad uh, perceptions of Christianity. What living a Christian life means is that you live a life that where Christ is first. And he allows us, Christ uh, orchestrates us or uh, is not a dictator in our life to say, don't do this or don't do that or if you do this, this is going to happen to you or that. No, no, no. Christ directs us and guides us and leads us and helps us lead a very productive life. Because you're a Christian doesn't mean you can't go to a basketball game, a football game or a baseball game. You can go to all those. You can go to a hockey event. You can go to different things of this nature and still be very much a Christian, very much love God, very much um, saved. You can go to a movie. You can go to uh, certain type of out event, outward events and, and things like camping trips and things like this. It doesn't mean you have to stop all that. What it means is is that God he, he orchestrates or helps lead us to the right events to go to. All Outdoor events are not good, just like all indoor events are not good. So what it means is he gives us direction. The Bible says in Romans the 8th chapter that the footsteps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. What that tells me is that when you become a Christian, the Lord helps dictate our footsteps. Now why is it important for him to direct our footsteps? Well, it's simple. A lot of times we get ourselves into situations that are beyond our control. You know, there's an old saying, everything that shines is not gold or everything that looks good is not good and a lot of times we as individuals can look at something on the outward appearance and say oh that looks innocent it looks fun you know what's the problem let me try this and then when we get involved in it it turns out to be far worse than what it looked like on the outside so that's why the Bible says the footsteps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord meaning God directs our footsteps so we don't get into situations that are overwhelming or become more complicated than, than what we originally um, I thought they were. It gives us a sense of security, a sense of peace and direction. You see, so that's a good thing. That's not a negative thing. I know in today's society, it's, it's, we, 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 we we're taught that be your own person, make your own way in life and do your own thing and don't let anybody control you or let anybody dominate you. And that's a popular way of that, that the world wants us to, to think and operate. And you know what? In God, he's the same way. He doesn't want to control us or dominate us. or Otherwise, he'd just make us all robots. He wouldn't give man a will, an ability to choose what do they want to do. He wouldn't have done that. If God wanted us to be mindless, controlled robots, he wouldn't have given us a, a sense of direction. He wouldn't give us a, the ability to choose from one thing or the other. He would have just made it where we all have to make the same decisions and do the same thing. And see, God's a fair God and he's a loving God. And he wants us to have right of choice. That's why he said the footsteps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. Now, I know I've repeated that several times because I want you to understand that God orchestrates our footsteps. Yes, he does. He leads us and he directs us, but he doesn't dominate us or control us. And the difference in that is when we're being led, it's kind of like this. If you have a small child and you take the small child into the kitchen and you turn the oven on and you're cooking and while you got your back turned, the child touches, goes to put their hand on the burner and you try and you tell the child, don't do that because if you touch that hot burner, you're going to burn yourself and it's going to be bad. 
and you turn your back again and the child tries to do it again and you tell them don't you don't want to do that because it's going to be harmful to you and then finally on the third time you turn your back and you're doing whatever you're doing you're cooking and you're doing whatever you're doing and you uh, and and you turn around and you hear a loud scream and now the child touched the hot iron or the hot stove and burn themselves well Christ wants to keep us from burning ourselves I hope you understand the parable. He wants to try to prevent us from hurting ourselves and getting into bad situations. That's why living a Christian life is not a controlled life. It's an orchestrated life. It's a led life so we can uh, avoid bad things and negative situations. You know, um, I hope that, um, that, that we can understand what we're, what we're relating to here today, that God's a loving God. And he wants us to live good, sound lives. He wants us to have fun. He wants us to enjoy life. He wants us to go to amusement parks. He wants us to, uh, to be able to enjoy ourselves and do some of the things we like. Apostle Paul wrote in, um, in uh, I, be I believe it was in the book of Romans as well, that uh, he could pretty much do anything he wanted to do. But if he did everything that he, was, uh, that he could, he wouldn't be able to be where he is or where he was. Well, what that says in layman terms, in plain English, we as Christians can do a lot of things. But everything we want to do is not always good for us to do. So that's why we have to let our decisions and the things we do be orchestrated by the Lord. Well, with that said today, um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm going to conclude. And I wanna, once again, I want to thank you for turning, tuning in to the Fresh Man of Golden Nugget for the day. And please, leave us a question or a comment. Uh, of what you thought about the, the brief uh, nugget today and we look forward to you tuning into us again. Take care, God bless, and I look forward to seeing you again.